you from the proud home of the Auburn Tigers, Jordan Hare Stadium. Kickoff is next. What's going on, guys? This is Patrick from AL.com. We are simulating the Auburn A-Day game since it was unfortunately canceled today, obviously because of the circumstances. So we wanted to bring you EA Sports NCAA 14. We've created some of the freshmen, recreated some of the roster, and we're going to try and bring this together for you. Now the way to do this, since this is not a feature of the game, is you need to be able to sub out the packages. The white team is going to be the second team, offense and the defense. So we'll do that. And I'm going to let the CPU play itself out with seven minute quarters. And here we go. Is kicking off first and done the best we can. Underway. Some of the players might uh, nice duplicate. I'll be a V8 freaky to start. Sean. Maybe break it out. But that'll be the end of me playing. You guys enjoy. Comment. Let us know any other matchups you want us to recreate in the future. And uh, War Eagle. He sails it long. Oh, what an interception. They'll bring him down at the 45-yard line. The defense might be licking their chops right now, Herbie. We've got to change at the quarterback position. We know the kid is talented, but you got to know the defense is going to come after him. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. Carries the ball for a nice game. And he is drilled at the 47 yard line. Knocked out of bounds, right around the 28-yard line. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. Gains his way to the 20-yard line. Huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. Throws to the tailback, incomplete. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Just outside the goal line. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. 23 the fight. I know it is. Throws it and it's caught for the touchdown. He hits the PAT. So that's an eight-play, 56-yard drive. And the result, seven points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Auburn's really got things working right now for them. I can't think of a better start. That's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. And 
he's tackled around the 33-yard line. Scrambling around. Got an opening. Slides down to the ground. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brent, I think this guy is amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. Three down, three down. Hey, check my 36, 36. Quick throw out to the receiver. And down he goes at the 45. After a decent pickup. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Hey, check my 33, check my 33. Yeah. 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 Now he's scrambling. <laughs> Tackle made at the 33. They tried to get a head start there. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 38-yard line. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Tackle right around the 32-yard line. Shivers picks him up six yards with a catch. He lets it go. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. Brad, he drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. Second and 10. Ball on the 13-yard line. Slings it out there incomplete. Tenth play of the drive. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Anytime you can prevent a third down conversion, you're doing something right. Solid coverage. They'll call on the field goal unit here. It's up, and it is good. Auburn, kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 22. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. But you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 19. Auburn holds a four-point lead. He's tackled at the 21-yard line. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. He's to the 40, across midfield. And they make the stop at about the 47 yard line. The tight end's got it for a first down. That's a tight end who's wide open out there. 
He's taken down at the 19. Gets it, he's in space. And he hits him hard at the 11. On the ground, up the middle. He fights forward to about the 10. the 12-yard line. It was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. You're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. It's fourth down. This one should be makeable. The kick is up, and he got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Everyone's all up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tigers really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And he shoved out of bounds around the 35-yard line. Double tight, double tight. Yeah, yeah. 36, 33, 33. They'll knock him down for a loss. He wasn't decisive at all on that option. Once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. From their own 30-yard line, third down. He gets rid of this one. Can't ask for much more than a three and out. Great job, defense. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Auburn up seven points. And they push him out at about the 41. complete he's got room to work and he tackles him hard at the 48 deal comes away with around seven yards on that catch and that'll also give him a first down nice protection a good pass and even a better catch you can ask for much more than that he makes it on to maybe the 49 yard line Fights forward to around midfield. He lets it fly. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Man, I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision, but that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. Nix is the punter. It's away, short punt. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. Brad, everywhere we go when we travel over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread, or the pistol. Hurry up, tempo offense, points. It's 
nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. He makes his way to about the 38. by the quarterback. The thing that impresses me is the decision making. He sees an opening, decides to turn it upfield, and gets a nice gain in a first down. Fires it out. They'll bring him down around the 50 yard line. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. 10 3, Tigers. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Three down, three down. Hey, check by 33, check by 33. Ready! <laughs> nice run, and he's brought down. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Mark check, 33, 33. Here we go! Easy, easy, easy. Come on, come on, come on. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. He tackles him for a loss. The defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that loss. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 46-yard line. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. And that was almost big. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Auburn is up by a touchdown. Gets out to about the 21. his way to the 43 yard line. Hands off up the middle and stuffed. From their own 41 yard line. Second down. Three down, three down. Watch two, watch two. Three down. Draw here. A yard, if any, there for the halfback. He heaves it deep. Junior makes the catch. Touchdown, Auburn! And he tacks on the extra point. 
So a five-play, 80-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So our score, 17-3. He's to the 20. At the 30. Tackle made at the 34. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. Third and nine coming up. Ball on the 35. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. He's tackled the 39-yard line. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. Well, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. handoff and he makes it out to about the 27 yard line up the middle for a nice game the middle. Pitches, and he's got room. And that sets them up for the first and goal. From the three-yard line, it's second down. Touchdown, Tigers! Perfect call under these circumstances. Confusing them with the option and then getting the football into the hands of the running back. And he converts the extra point. Carlson looks ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And he's tackled around the 40-yard line. He 
he makes his way to about the 48. Tackle made at about the 43-yard line. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Hey, check Mike 33. Check Mike 33. Right on. Black, right on. Black. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. So the penalty makes it first and 15. They give to the tailback. Gets to about the 47-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. He might have a chance. Decent run here, right side. Right, 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 right. Three down, three down. Mark check, 33. 33. Ready. Easy, easy, easy. Three, nice lucky, in. lucky. On a counter, wrestled down behind the line. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. put themselves in a great position now as they head into the second half. Well, in the first half, we saw a lot of big playability and just a lot of, just an explosive approach by this offense. But remember, we'll see what happens here in the second half. This is a long way from being over. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Caught open field. Brought down at the 27-yard line. They get nice yardage on that run. You wonder if they'll go to the no huddle here. There's not a lot of time left. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Tackle around the 43-yard line. And for Schwartz, he makes it 100 receiving yards. Well, I don't know who's happier right now, Brad. The offensive coordinator calling the plays or the quarterback that continues to dial up this wide receiver. He now has over 100 yards receiving in this game, and I don't think he's going to slow down. With the pass, incomplete. It's second and goal. Ball on the three. Touchdown, Auburn! A short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a six-play, 85-yard drive, and the result, seven points. The score now, 31-3. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
you know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. I don't know what these guys have to do to get back on track, but they need to try something. Washed out, and he's going to get sacked. from their own 20-yard line. Second down. Well, we played a half of football. The Tigers are up big. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. I'd like to put this more delicately if I could, but if this were a horse, they would put it out of its misery. This game Ouch. is this game is ugly and uh, and completely non-competitive. No, one of these teams is not like the other. I mean, one's really good and one's not. And I don't know how to sugarcoat it anymore. Maybe uh, maybe we could say that the second half will be better. But what you've seen so far you're probably going to get a lot more because I don't see any advantages or anything to take advantage of. One team's just superior in talent, superior in coaching, superior really in every single facet of the ball game. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. Reese, David, wish you were here instead of Kirk and I. We start the second half in this lopsided ball game. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tigers are on a roll right now, an absolute roll. 21 straight points, and the defense has no answer for them. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Auburn comes to the line in complete control in this game. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Quick pass, and down he goes at the 50-yard line. needs to figure out a way to stop them or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. From the 17-yard line, it's first down. Auburn up by a bunch. And he's taken down at the 16-yard line. Interception by the corner. Wait a second. Who, who's calling the plays here? You've got a huge lead. 
and you're still throwing the football into coverage? What are you doing trying to let the guy get back into the game? From their own nine-yard line, first down. And off up the middle, and he's stopped. This defensive lineman's got the kind of size and strength where he can disrupt the play all by himself. It's third down. Defense will be digging in here as they're inside their own five. You admire their faith in the running game, but a pass might have been the better way to go. And this one is a beauty. Tackle at the 38. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Here's the give. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. That makes it second and eight. From the 36-yard line, it's second down. Auburn comes to the line holding that commanding lead. Throws complete and he's hit right away. Around the 32-yard line. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. This will just add insult to injury. It's up. Looks long enough. And he got it. as his kick team lined up and he is set to kick this one off he kicks it off and he got all of that one this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback Auburn's continuing to play extremely tough defense this has been impressive it's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive if you're going to get blown out you at least want to go down swinging Zips it to the back. They'll bring him down at the 26. Shivers up the gut. And they make the stop at the 27. complete he's got space to work and he's tackled at about the 33 yard line he's to the 40 gets to about the 41 yard line The defense held them to three on their last possession. Pitching a shutout on this drive would be even better. Auburn up by a big margin. Williams gets a handoff to the right. Gains his way to the 49-yard line.
from the 49-yard line. First down. He's on the run. He gets hit out of bounds at the 30. First and 10, ball on the 30-yard line. And they hit him in the backfield. They'll lose a yard on that quarterback keeper. a loss of about three. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Passes to his tailback again. They'll knock him down for a loss. They're stopped for a five-yard loss. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. That turned out to be a nice little punt there. It was just a little pooch kick, but it was very effective. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Tackled after a decent pickup, and the clock continues to run. Now let's see if they try to hurry up here. receiver and he dropped it. This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his coverage receivers some room to improvise and get free. So it's third down now and they're going to need about four. Pass complete and taken down immediately. The 49 yard line. We're about set to start things up again. Auburn looking to build on this commanding lead here. Here's a handoff, left side. Gains his way to the 39 yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39. Tackle made at the 37. He's at the 20, makes it out to about the 16. Not much of a contest here as we head into the final stanza. 34-3, Tigers. Just about set to start the fourth quarter, mercifully. Well, the last time down here, they threw an interception. They'd like to erase that memory. Got some open field. 
Touchdown, Tigers! Still a long ways to go here in the fourth quarter, but that score has certainly put them in a great position to win the football game. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. Gets out to about the 21. The Tigers have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Quick strike to the back, and he drops it. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 21. He's scrambling. Decides to slide. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Mike check, 33. 33. Watch the safety creeps. He takes it right side for a good game. He's to the 40. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. From their own 47-yard line, it's second down. They come out on an empty backfield. He's going to try and scramble. Now he's going to run and watch out. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. Roger, Roger. Hey, check they spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Look at the scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 44. Three down, three down. Mike check, 33. 33. Ready! Blue and cut! Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. Tackle at the 39. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. A conversion there could have really helped them, but it just wasn't to be. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. I expect him to run the ball, kill the clock, and put this one in the books. Auburn looking to add to this big lead here. Brought down around the 41-yard line. It's second and 12. Ball on the 41. With a quick throw. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch.
gets it out to about the 41-yard line. From the 41-yard line, second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. He's taken down around the 24-yard line. From the 24-yard line, it's first down. He goes around the 15 yard line. Auburn in control. And they get nice yardage on that run. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. left and he'll lose yardage. We're at play number nine of this current drive. third and goal and they're about four yards out down at the four-yard line. This should be an easy field goal. This is to add to an already impressive lead. Kicks away, and it's good. Carlson has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, late in the fourth quarter, this game has been over for a long time, and now we just want to get out of here like these two teams do. Just over a minute left. Blue 19! Blue 19! And they'll bring him down behind the line. Four yard line. Second down. Makes it out to about the 36. Yes, 
Runs it right. Nice pickup. He might have a chance, and he's level at the 50-yard line. Complete. He's got room. He's tackled at about the 47-yard line. They give to the tailback. Nice run, and he's brought down. Well, a nice stop there late in the fourth quarter. Ooh, quite a sack. Hey, this is Patrick again from AL.com. Thank you guys for watching the Auburn 8A game 2020 simulation. Obviously, uh, kind of a beatdown by the first team, a little bit different than the simulation we did earlier on our Facebook page, AuburnTigers at AL.com. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, this filled the void for you. Um, no sports. And, um, you know, we're going to have some other games. We're hoping to do the 2004 USC, 2004 Auburn Tigers National Championship that did not happen. Uh, but you can check out more of our content on AL.com. Got a lot of good content from Tom Green, Gianna Han, still re uh, regarding the team. Hope you guys enjoy this. We're going to check out the stats real fast. Uh, we know Bo Nix is the MVP of this game. If you guys got any recommendations uh, or requests, don't hesitate to throw them in the comments. And let us know how you feel. Let's check the game stats real fast. Uh, for the blue team, oh, look at that, 16-21, two touchdowns, one interception. I would say Bo Nix is your MVP of the Auburn 8 day game. Uh, we will look at how did Cord Sandberg do. Okay. You should check out the Facebook simulation to see a little bit different action from Cord Sandberg. First team, Tank Bigsby, he's the five-star running back from Georgia. 26 attempts, 127 yards, one touchdown. But a few other... Uh, Running touchdowns as well, it looks like. Um, obviously, we have multiple players. It's hard to simulate the spring game. It's not a feature of NCAA 14, so we just kind of had to uh, do mass subs, basically. Um, Luke Deal, tight end, should be a good-looking uh, adjustment if Auburn throws to the tight end this year. But Anthony Schwartz, the speedster, the track star, obviously showed out. And on the away team, the white team, a little bit of everything. This is someone you guys should check out this year. So we hope everybody is uh, staying safe and having a good one. Happy Easter. Thank you for watching. Check out Auburn Tigers on AL.com.